welcome to Spectacle Island for episode one with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, we're here. We have arrived on another island. We've arrived in a much better way than we arrived on the last island. We're certainly not soaking wet and we haven't just plummeted from a great height. <laughs> but we are here on Spectacle Island. This is another one of those. Um, Culper Park Farm was one and Spectacle Island was the other. The two maps for me that got away, they were ones that I wanted to do, but I was in the middle of doing other things and, you know, life gets in the way, things happen and you regret not doing them. So I don't know how long the series will run for, but I'm here, I'm on Spectacle Island. We have the trusty Land Rover. That is the only part, oh, and the fact I've got 564,000. I said I was going to be bringing half of the money from Rasvet. We made 1,185,000 or something, I think. It was just under 1.2. So just under half of that. I know it's not exactly, but that's what we're bringing with us. Now, like I say, there's no storyline to this. This is just playing the game. We're going to come on here. We're going to do some work. You know, there are bits and bobs around the island. There are people per se in so much as there are different areas that require different things. And I'm going to be, like I did on Sussex, like I did on Mercury Farms, that, you know, I'm going to be showing off everything the map's got to offer. Not everyone's going to like that. I know that. I will get all the comments and complaints about cheating and it's too easy to make money and that kind of thing. Fine. That's okay. It may well be. I'm still going to show off everything that's there. Now, we have got a load of equipment. We are taking on a farm. Um, owning it maybe kind of technically um, I am taking ownership in the sense that I'm going to be running it and operating it it needs a load of work but we have got a load of machinery to start off with and when I say a load of machinery possibly a little bit more than you might start a normal let's play with or when I say a little bit more in so much as maybe slightly different maybe slightly larger for example we do have a class Takano sitting here some maps you'll get a Massey Ferguson 74, 35, 73, 40, if I can remember the designation. Um, but we've got a class uh, Takano. We have got that, that header that popped up the other day. I do I do quite like this. The, um, what's it, the Harvest Line, HL 660. Foldable header, 6.6 .6 metres, so we've got that. We have got an NMC wheel loader with a bucket and a log grab. Now I'm going to do something a bit bonkers we've got some more equipment we'll go and have a look at that in a minute we're going to go up to the farm we're going to take ownership we've got to clear the yard because the yard needs doing i'm not skipping that part that's going to be done we have got a plow up there somewhere oh there's lorry there with a tanker on the back of it we're going to need to get a low loader to get i mean i suppose i could just drive this up but i should really take it on a low loader but also what i'm thinking is that's going to be tricky for getting if you haven't been on this map before, <laughs> getting up, and that could prove a little bit trickier. I did even look at, look, let me just show you on, on, on here. Right, now what you normally start with, let's take off the periphery. What you normally start with is, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, okay, that's weird. Now I'm slightly concerned, hang on a minute. Go to my garage. I'll show you what we've got. We'll have a look around anyway. We've got a few bits and bobs knocking around, which is nice. Plow, we've got a cedar, spread up mowers, high density baler, that will do 6,000 litre bales. Jet wash, old rundown shelter. We've got a pillow. So all the equipment's there. Oh, this is going to mess things up a little bit. Just bear with me a second. Right, let's check that again. I'm not sure if I, I just didn't save it properly last time. So, I'm going to take the periphery off. I've bought the periphery because it doesn't really gain me a huge amount. A bit of grassland here and there, maybe. But it does mean it might be a bit easier for placeables if I want to place anything. Now, what do we start with? Well, you normally start with everything on this island, including five and six. Now, I thought I'd already sold five and six. So, we don't start with too much... I do want to, on this one, build up, buy extra fields. I definitely want to buy field seven. I want to get at least one or two on here, and I want to do some logging work maybe on there. 
we are going to do login work to clear the yard um, and I'm going to, I'm also my intention is to do all of the animals on my last couple two or three let's plays I've done one set of animals I've done bits here and there so my intention is to do all of them we'll do I don't know if I'll do horses we'll see but let's say this is just a let's just play the game also it gives me a chance like I said I haven't I'm not tied down to a theme I'm not tied down to a specific area in that spectacle island is a kind of it's a I'll say mythical it's not mythical a fictional place and um, so yeah like with Rasvet it was I was trying to go for very Soviet era stuff and obviously on Lucas Island that's a little bit trickier because it's what I can get shipped in and that kind of thing and I'd started off with nothing and I'm building up this one's not like that um, I'm also going to do something else which is going to help with what's going to come later it may seem a bit insane but I love this I'm going to buy with the extra weight on the back that 415 grand that's up on the ship that will need to be transported again that's going to be again oh that's what i started off by saying when i went to show you the map what i was going to try and do if you haven't been on it before you'll see when we take the drive up in a minute is you come along here and you cross over and then there's this precarious trip up here up the sort of cliffside now that's better than it used to be still a little bit tricky then round up to the farm now you can take a long route round where you go round everything and you come back in and through the island that way it's a long way round. so I thought oh what we could do is with the periphery kind of owned we could extend the land out and put a bridge across in, a, in essence giving ourselves a shortcut up to there problem is you can't buy the water so I extended out a tiny little way and I tried it off camera because uh, you can't own that now it's narrower here but you've got high cliff sides so you can't you can't make a shortcut I was really hoping I could and I was going to do an episode on building a shortcut but no. what's not to be actually we'll come back for the harvester later we don't need it yet we need to clear the yard to take ownership so let's take the landy I have been told there is gold on the island mm -hmm. so at some point we'll do a bit of a gold hunt I know where some are or well, I know where they all are but that was a while ago so I'm not in all honesty I'm trying to in my head trying to remember where they all were but there is gold to collect so we'll probably do that at some point we'll go in and collect a few gold bars again yes maybe it will be too easy to make money maybe I'll, you know but I want to show off the map I want I want to show what you can do on it show all the options show the stuff you know I know when I did the map tour I showed all the main points of the map but I want to I want to play it so let's head up to the farm that shelter you saw on that list of stuff that I have that's on the sort of place of balls bit and there's a plough in there as far as start tractor goes start tractors go one was going to be a bun but the problem is I'm still in I'm still in narrative mode so that kind of that foremost is in the workshop and it was going to be that kind of barn find oh well look what we've got but I'm t I've got to get my head around on this one. I'm not. I'm not doing a, a story now. For a lot of people, that's going to annoy them because they like the storylines, they like the narratives and that kind of thing. Like I said before, though, for me, it's a bit more freeing. I know a lot of people are hoping for subscriber let's play and that kind of thing. But I think, yeah, just play the game. I don't know, we might be alright with a low load. I'm going to take it a little bit steady, but we might be okay. So all this is going to need to be cleared. We've got trees in the fields. There are switches, there are buttons. Again, if you didn't watch my first look, 
map tour of this you won't necessarily know but there are two points one where you can cut a, a post and it will remove all the trees from the fields so if you don't want to, the hassle and take the time of clearing the fields of trees you can do that and there's one that also does the yard and we come up into the yard area the yard area is a mess to say the least and that all needs to be cleared that gets cleared by removing trees with marks around them so any of the trees that have got a red ring around them you remove those trees and it will remove muck and rubbish and rubble around i am going to need to get the uh wheel loader up here because we've also got a few messes here and there knocking around so i want to tie those up now you can you can use the landscaping tool if you don't want to do that and you can just landscape over it using a texture if you wanted to i think if you dragged a cultivator over it would do the same thing it just kind of reverts it back and gets rid of it so we need to clear the yard we need to take ownership we need to make it our own well that span around a little bit and made my eyes swim and i do want to do animals we're going to build up to all of that the farmhouse is over there In talking with the previous owners, like I say, there's, there's various bits of equipment all over the place. There's The plough is over just behind the cow barn. And then we've got... What have we got? The baler and mowers are down in a barn over on one of the fields. The cedar... It's a cedar, not a planter. is over here. I think I used it once on... It might have been Sussex. Was it Sussex? can't think now when it came out we've got a ball go but the small one the eight meter not too big at the moment but we might go bigger i'm thinking we might we might definitely go bigger we might definitely go bigger <laughs> uh we've got the horse um fertilizer spreader I haven't used that in a while either Ten thousand liter capacity and spreads out to 36 meters so i thought you know what why not let's give that a go again uh we've got the dock down here with the barge slash ferry which i'm going to name brian and we've got a little international lorry down there uh with a with a log back but i think we can change the backs on that so we could use that for transport of various different things as well so yeah we've got a load of gear we have got a tractor and i'll be totally honest with you i can't remember where i put it <laughs> it's here somewhere there it is we've got a class but no ordinary class you may have already seen. Oh, we've got the Terra Track. So we've got a Terra Track to start. It's a very large tractor, but we've got some largish machinery. We may go larger. I've got my own some other things. And then in here, this needs a little bit of clearing out. We have got the the foremost. This is one I've wanted to use for a while since it first came out and i just kind of didn't get to a point where anywhere i was i wanted to use it or had a chance to use it i think it's 135 horsepower something like that i just think it looks cool so reminds me a little bit but of george saunders i know his ford and that kind of a little bit little bit we have seen gold bars so we have got gold bars now people did ask what about the gold bar how'd you get that one well that one what you can do if you come around the back, it should give you, there you go, the thing to pick it up. So you pick it up, go right forward, and then drop it. Hopefully it hasn't gone through the floor. And then it's a bit further forward on the bench, and then you can pick it up. He says. Pick it up. Oh, there we go. So you go, you can do it through the wall. <laughs> so you can get that one. I have been warned, and I found it myself when I did the first kind of look around. I found a few of these. One or two I picked up, went to put in something and dropped them, and a couple of them fell through the floor. I need to be very wary on that. So any gold bars we come across, we need to try and put them in one place. I might take them in the back of the Land Rover, because we have got the gold mine we can go and visit at some point too. So anyway, as far as taking ownership goes, there is something very cool I can do. And I cannot thank Jim enough for this. And I know this is very specific to me. So <laughs> I feel incredibly lucky and privileged. If I go to 
here. Where is it? Right. And that now says update farm sign. Now someone, well, two or three people actually messaged me and said, did you know? I don't know how they found it. Jim never told me. He never, he never messaged me and said, oh, by the way, I've done... How would you find that? I suppose unless you were coming in trying to tidy up, but there's nothing on the ground. Update farm sign. Or maybe you can do it from inside. Is that available at the back here somewhere? Oh, no, just out there. So, having updated the farm sign, and when I say about taking ownership... Here's why. I'll turn it off now. The farm sign no longer says Spectacle Farm. It now says Silly Pea Farm. Get in, Jim. Get in. So, I have now officially taken ownership of Silly Pea Farm here on Spectacle Island. We have got work to do. I am going to pile all the lumber up we are oh i haven't got a mulcher a mulcher lulcher we have to get a mulcher uh right oh yeah got a jet wash got one of the osmosis ones or the was it osmosis i'm never quite sure the one that takes um moisture from the air so now the other thing someone did say if you don't want to um have to remove all the trees and the stumps and stuff like that if you go quite high up, apparently, don't know how high up. Apparently, it still works. I mean, there's still a bit of a tree there, but let's see if we can take that. Doesn't mean you can move them by hand, and it kind of leaves part of the tree behind. I'm not sure that's quite. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of leaves a stump. You could leave those sticking up if you wanted to. I might just remove the whole trees. I think. Oh yeah, there's a red tip on the end. So yeah, I suppose you could do if you could just do that. So whether you can reach it or not. Ah, okay, so we could do that, couldn't we? So that stays in place. I could come back with a mulcher later on. And they're still big enough that the stumps aren't hidden low and I can't find them again. Whoever it was that commented to say that, and that was a while ago. It was another one of the ones I kind of read and thought, oh, okay. I didn't sort of envisage myself doing it, but... So what we're going to do, as you can see, area's cleared a little bit more. We'll do this one over here, which I think will do this stuff. Let's do it again. Let's go as high as we can get. Well, the barrels went. Some of it did. There's another tree over there. We're going to gradually work our way around, and we're going to tidy up. a pity because I do like that tractor there is one over there as well and there's, there's a few knocking around but this actually saves a lot of tidying why is that not there we go already looking better look so yeah, so what I'm going to do is head out to um, the fields and we'll start clearing some of the lumber there. And we use the chains. Actually, you know what? I've got 243 grand left. I might lease... You know, I haven't used. I haven't, again, this is kind of... That kind of... Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I haven't used any of the Rotner. The Rotner DLC. Now, I've got kind of got used to using the Scorpion King. I know where I stand with that. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But I think, how much is that to lease per hour? 23,970 straight off with another <coughs> 9,870 per hour. But we'll get a load of lumber, which we can sell. And as long as we cover the cost of leasing it, we're clearing the land. That's good. Let's lease that. Maybe I do need to get a low loader. 
Anyway, I'm going to spend some time now clearing up. So hopefully, when we come back around, everything's going to be lovely. Lovely and clean, lovely and clear. I'll do all these in a minute. Let's do the one here at the farmhouse. We just get the boarding off the windows, tidy the rubbish. Oh, I've got a pillow. There's my pillow, so I can lay my head whatever I want and have a nap. If I had a busy day, you know how it is. Okay, wasn't that one. There we go. I'm trying to remain as upbeat and positive as I can because this is the start of a new Let's Play. What have I missed? Oh, it's one over there as well. I was thinking, that's all done. I can't get in the door. It's, there's one here as well. There? Yeah. And possibly one at the back. They're all over the place. We'll, we'll get around and we'll get them done. Yeah, I had my, um, my second vaccination yesterday. And if you, if you saw my Twitter, <laughs> that was fun. Um, not necessarily the, I'm not getting into the whole debate on vaccinations, whether you should have more or not, or anything like that. That's your choice to make. I'm not getting involved. You know, I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there and using their platform to, to tell people, you know, they should be doing this, that, and other. That's not, that's not me. I'm not, you know, that's not that one. But, um, had my first one. And after my first one, my left arm, which is the arm I had it done in, I mean, it ached like I'd, I'd, like someone had given me a dead arm. But that was for like five days. It just would not quit. And I, you know, when you get toothache, it was like that constant. And it just drove me mad. It just would not go away. So, yesterday morning, I get up. My appointment's at 20 past nine in the morning. So I got up with enough time and sort myself out and with enough time to get down to the surgery in the car. So I go out, get to the car at nine o'clock. <laughs> get in the car, <laughs> and it wouldn't start. Oh, because we haven't been driving it very much. And I had it the day we were supposed to go on holiday as well. Go out there, uh, 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 battery just dies. So I, right, okay. <laughs> I need to get down to the surgery, pretty sharpish. It started off as a kind of run, which then turned into a bit of a jog, then a kind of shuffly jog then a walk by the time i got to the surgery it was more of a kind of crawl and a wheeze um not great do i need it inside i'll just put it down here for the time oh you know i should really don't want to leave my pillow outside do i let's just put it in here for the time being we can put it in the bedroom later let's put it down there should still work shouldn't it yep magic at least it's indoors um so yes yeah, so i get down there and i'm like perspiring to say the least sweating buckets it was warm yesterday as well and great so i walk in the door and it's like bang on 20 past so i give my name she said, what time's your appointment so i'm 20 past so she looks at her watch she's like, okay fair enough sends me straight through with my number and i've got my mask on which doesn't help as well so i'm boiling up because i've got my mask on and um the first question the woman asked me are you suffering or have you suffered from any related symptoms of the dreaded c word um including and the first thing he says is fever <laughs> bearing in mind how much i'm sweating and i said no she looks at me like um so i had to explain about how i got there and blah, blah, blah. so wonderful so she's taken my details the woman that's actually doing the injection doing the vaccination does my vaccination and then proceeds to put a bit of cotton cotton wool on on my arm and then tries to put tape on it 
to hold it down because you didn't want to get blood on my shirt because there was a little bit of blood from there. Great. And then says to me, oh, it won't stick. You're ever so sweaty. <laughs> Did you not just hear what I said? Uh, how I had to get down here. Yes, I'm a little bit sweaty. I do apologise. It wasn't great. It, was, it really wasn't great. So, yeah, that was fun. But it's done. And what I was started off by saying is about trying to keep up beating. I've woken up this morning and I feel like I've been hit by a train. My arm is aching like mad again. And I feel like I've got full-blown flu. Every part of me aches. just feel awful. But I thought, today's a done start in my new Let's Play today. I need. I want to get on with it. Anyway, I said ages ago, wasn't it? I said I'm going to get on with this, but I thought I'd just tell that story while I'm going on. Like I say, those trees may look a little bit unsightly. I might chop them down a little bit lower um, as we go around, but for the time being, that will do. It's just an easier way of doing it. I haven't got entire trees to shift then and that kind of stuff. I can come back and do those at a later date. So, uh, yeah, right, I'm going to get around. Let's get this yard cleared. And then I'm going to get the Rotna. We'll get the Rotna up from the dock i mean that's the i suppose the only thing here on spectacle is that the drive from the dock when you buy new stuff up to the farm area is a bit of a drop so there's loads of maps that are like that where the main store's a long way away from everything else so actually it's not no shut up mr p it's rubbish makes no difference whatsoever there's no difference to rasvet or any of the others Talking nonsense, son. It's 12.23. Yard is cleared. I have purchased a low loader. And I purchased the one I did. I've used it before, but a few times. Because you can... <laughs> you can put it using a tractor or... You, know, you can with any if you use a dolly, but... What I didn't realise was that the um, the VSTR UK, which is the lorry we've got over there, doesn't have a rear trailer hitch. So I've leased one just for doing this job. That was weird, it got stuck. So we've got the two vehicles, that's purchased, that's purchased, that's leased, that's leased. I've also bought a couple of these for putting stuff on the low loader so hopefully we can strap that down and stop it moving on the precarious journey and it is going to be precarious this one the man tgs standard in game it's got the rear trailer hitch so we can use it for this now there are loads of low loaders available um there's one that i do like to use mine's gone blank on who makes it it's the one where well there are two, some more of those as well with the sides open out so you can get a much wider platform I may end up going for that. I haven't decided just yet. But we might do. Uh, let's put that down. Let's jump in the Rotna. We'll head up. No, not that one. The Rotna, please. Thank you. So I say, first time using this. We'll see. Other than when it first came out. It might be a bit big to go on here. Or we might just get it on. Now the beauty of... Well, oh actually I must go a bit further up. Just think of the ramps. So... The beauty of a tray like this, rather than the fifth wheel being under here, is that you've got all this extra room for something like this that overhangs. Now that wasn't intentional, I'll be honest. I could lie now and go, oh yeah, that's what I always intended to do. That's why I went for that one. No, not at all. That wasn't that wasn't what I planned. Hang on, this does have straps, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So let's get I just don't want this moving around. Can I get up onto there? that on there. Let's see if we can get up onto it. Mm, that's interesting, that one. Let me pick it up. 
What the? That's the whole point of these. What's happening? That can't be it. It's too high. Strap's not recognising it. That's odd. Wonder why that wouldn't work. Just working that one. Right, that one's worked. I know it's gone up through the bodywork, but I have to reset that one. Maybe just fall off and we drive. That's peculiar. I don't know why it's done that. So we've got one strap over there. That should hold it in place. Right, let's put those back up. This is going to be an interesting journey, isn't it? Actually, it's not as wide as I thought it was going to be. And the, the Rotner actually has got quite a low... Seems to have a very low centre of gravity, especially having the the arm out in front. That's not to say this isn't going to tip over if I'm not careful. It absolutely could. But it certainly shouldn't move around with that strap on it now. That those blocks again, if you're not aware. The Lizard T-Rex, oh, I always forget the designation, it's under low loaders, I've got it, the T-Rex 6, if you get the T-Rex 6 by Black Sheep Modding, which is that trailer on the end, that comes with, under miscellaneous, those belt supports. Now, if you get that mod, you can just use those belt supports on anything. A lot of people will just use a log, they'll just chop a chunk of log off, lay that on top of something, and then the strap will go over the log. Either way, it doesn't matter how you go about it, but if you want to strap a vehicle down that's not strappable, that's what you do. Now, I will see you when we're on the precarious bit, because we need to get there. And what I want to do, before I finish this first episode, <coughs> the inaugural episode here on Spectacle, is uh, I want to get this rotner cutting down some trees in one of the fields. Then we can clear a load of trees. I'll need to get the low loader back down. I'm not sure that that big mill loader will fit on this. So I may need to go away and look and see if I can get another low loader shipped in, a wider one. Potentially we'll do that. We'll see what's available. Yeah, see, originally this was so much narrower. <laughs> I hope it's got enough oomph to pull it. Don't stop, don't stop. <gasps> no. This is where you need a winch, you need a snow runner winch. Come on, keep going. No. We're not gaining any traction, are we moving at all? I didn't, this wasn't even the bit I was worried about. I need something with more horsepower. More power, it's going to cost money. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is tricky stuff. Right, okay, that's not good. Um, gently, <laughs> gently on the accelerator. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, right. Have to be careful now. We don't end up in the drink.
I just get something more powerful. I think it might be, not necessarily this hasn't got enough power, I think that rear section is hitting the floor, which is causing it to drag. I'm not even sure that a higher horsepower vehicle will do this, you know. We might need to go for a different low loader. What do I think is going to be a better combination? Different low loader or or maybe both, just a higher horsepower lorry and a different low loader. Right, back to drawing boards. The trials and tribulations of Spetskill Island have begun. A little bit of time has passed. I have purchased I've purchased the um, Step Deck IBM LPM85 by IBM Modding because I thought because it's straight off the back and quite high we should be right on the steeper ridges and it actually worked out that went up there okay this was updated a while ago to have ramps as well I've got a couple more of the uh, attachers because I'm not there seems to be acting up I'm not quite sure why so what we'll do is take that off hopefully they'll fall off and then, yeah so they're moving now but when I tried to pick them up they wouldn't, wouldn't let me very odd what I'm gonna do is go right across the bridge and I'm gonna reverse back over because getting onto that step deck I think I need to reverse because this front section will catch on it what I'll try and do is move those out of the way now oh, so let me pick up now Oh, that's caught, cool, isn't it? It'll come out. Where did that just go? Oh, there it is. I thought I'd go in the water. I was like, oh no, give me a break. We will get there. What I've also done in between recording the last bit and this bit. I have uh, done the mod review for today, so come on, fall out. And in that mod review for today, there was the MP Agro Taurus Robust, which is a fertilizer lime min, uh, muck spreader. So I'm going to swap out the one I've got. Really doesn't seem to be liking that at all. Come on, fall away. There we go. So yeah, what I'm going to do is the the fertilizer spreader I already showed you. I'm, I've bought the new one, and I'm going to sell the old one back because it actually works out a little bit cheaper. And then what I'll do is I'll sell back the other low loader. Hopefully this works. I bought over the VSTR UK because the step deck is a three point, like a semi trailer, three point, uh, fifth wheel <laughs> semi trailer. And it's got a bit more horsepower than the one that I'd leased. So fingers crossed on this. We're hitting the floor, aren't we? Come on, just get past that lip and we'll be alright. Didn't want to have to do that. There we go. Just need to unfold the harvester. Just need to unfold the harvester. Why won't that go on? Is it because of the gradient? This is really annoying me now. Come 
this shouldn't be this hard, should it? It really, really shouldn't be this difficult. You watch, I'll reverse this down the hill and then I won't be able to go over that bump again. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again, where else can you get this quality content? <sighs> well, is that still going to be too steep an angle? Let's find out. Fingers crossed not. Just nudge that out of the way. Come on. There we go. Try and straighten that out a bit. You know, I know what you're probably thinking. <laughs> Whilst you're watching this, you're probably thinking, why don't you just drive the Rottner up the hill? Could have just taken it off the back of the low loader and just driven it up there. It would have been a lot quicker. You're absolutely right. It, it would have been. I had to bring this over because I took back the other the lorry. When I came back, realised the ramps were up. Oh, it's just been an absolute debacle. So let's see if this one will work. We'd be better off with a log, wouldn't we? That's quite hurt, isn't it? Uh, should get over there, find a solid bit for it to lock down onto. Mm, okay, that's quite a end of it. Fingers crossed. Yep, that's locked on. The ramp's away. <laughs> that's all it took. That's that's all it took. A completely different um, tractor unit, completely different trailer. Once that was done, just think if I'd have done this in the first place. And then we'll get it all unpacked. So after all that, it's going to be like a three minute drive through, he says. Oh. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll get some trees cut down in the middle of one of the fields. I'll show you the yard as well. The yard's all clear now, so that's all good. I'm definitely keeping this step deck, so I can use it for transporting all sorts of stuff. Now, as far as I know, again, a question that was asked a while back was, is there any way to remove any of the fences and hedges on here? Because I know sometimes on Jim's maps, they'll do the same thing as he's done with the trees, where there's a point where you can remove them all, or you can cut sections and it takes them out. As far as I know, there isn't anywhere. Still need to order a stump grinder. We'll do that. Straps off. Let, no, let me pick that bit up. Yep. Sort of. I'll put all those to one side. I think a couple of them I've leased, a couple of them I've bought. But let's drop that in there. Let's unfold and let's go. Now, in cap, what do I want my cut lengths to be? Just thinking of that little lorry we've got. I'll do my, uh, do my eights. Do my eights? What do I reckon? I 
we managed to change that. What I'll do is I'll get some cut down now. Uh, let's open the header up. The small ones will just be a straight through, hopefully wallop and done sort of thing. Oh, I keep forgetting it doesn't raise and lower, does it? Exactly. Oh yeah, the controls are more weird, weren't they? Oh, I'm used to the Scorpion King. Ooh. It all feels a bit weird. Now these fields are withered, as you can see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would have been better off with just um, a, a mulcher for that. Okay. So, they're going to, need to be ploughed out anyway. Have we got weeds on here? Oh, definitely ploughing out. I don't like weeds. I'll do the same thing, isn't it? I don't know. It's weird. It kept that one. Okay. Stump. Oh, farm dog's gone a bit growly. That's weird the first tree disappeared, yet the second part of that one didn't. Oh. So what I'll do is I'll come up here with the wheel loader with our log grab. We'll bring the lorry, the little international that's down at the uh, ferry terminal, barge dock. No, don't want that one. Want that one. And we'll load some logs up. Next episode then, we'll get so a load of this cleared and we'll get a load of logs put onto the barge. The barge. bit of rhythm of the night and then uh, we'll get some logs transported into the I think we'll have a go with the barge in the next episode uh, then what I'll do is get the bucket up for the wheel loader and we'll have a look at clearing the yard area of all the stuff that's on the floor storing stuff away prepping for animals I need to get these fields cleared we need to find some grass areas where I can cut grass make hay prep for total mix ration sheep whatever else it is we're gonna do let's go back to that Actually, that's not as bad as i thought it's gonna be it won't take too long like i say having that that button switch post so you can get rid of them yourself if you if you don't want them all here say get rid of them yourself you know what i mean in one go it may it makes life so much easier for anyone that doesn't want to So what I'll do before I finish, we found it, we, we dig it up. You know. Before I finish this first episode, which hasn't been as smooth as I thought it was going to be, that's unfortunate, it's always the way, isn't it? Seems to be with me anyway. Let's turn that off. I'm going to whiz up and show you. So if you didn't watch the uh, first look map tour or anything like that, I'm going to take the other low loader back, we'll get the wheel loader up here, the harvest will need to be transported up. Um, oh yeah, the yard, I was going to show you. Yard's all clear, all the stuff's off the ground, all sorted, but we've got all of these kind of spills that will all need to be tidied and cleaned up. There's various different ones, so we'll do those with the uh, the bucket on the wheel loader. And if we go round here, behind where the chicken coop is, there's this post here. Cutting this sign post with the chainsaw will remove all trees from the field. So if you just cut that one post there with the chainsaw, all those trees in all those fields will disappear. 
I'm going to cut them because I want to. I want the lumber. I want to get some stuff down onto the uh, barge. I want to try that. There's also something I want to try with regard to loading the barge with vehicles. Uh, there's a whole a whole load of things I want to have a go at. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're ready for more exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing some stuff on here. Like I say, just been out to get stuff because I want to try out some mods and things because I'm not I'm not stuck or stifled with my, the own, my own parameters. I set my own parameters on the other Let's Plays. I set them saying I must use these type of vehicles, this type of stuff I need to build up. With this one, it's kind of shackles off. I can just go, you know. So that's what's going to be happening i'm going to spend a bit of time cutting some more trees down i'll get the wheel loader up we'll get them gathered up into piles next episode let's say international up load up some stuff get some more things up here try out the barge then get the plow out and uh let's clear some of these fields i wonder if there are i can pick those oh i wonder has, has jim put those there already so you've got some stuff oh oh yeah and the stump grinder so anyway yes if you have enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>